Hi everybody, Mary here from A Recreated Life and today's frugal tip of the day is learn skills. Um, and what I mean by that is learn the skill of sewing or cooking or knitting or crocheting or carpentry or gardening or card making or lettering or something like that. Um, and I say that because Number one, it's a great personal growth thing, but number two, it could be something that you can parlay into a second job. By the way, look who's back there on my pillows. <laughs> She's getting all comfy to get settled down for the afternoon nap. <laughs> but anyway, um, so learn skills, yeah, sewing and knitting. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, with this economy the way that it is, you never know what's going to happen with your full-time job, so it, it doesn't hurt to have something to fall back on. And if you have skills like that, maybe you could, you know, use your skills to trade with people. Like, say the, the guy has to plow your driveway in the winter and you don't really have enough money. Well, offer to um, make him a meal once a week throughout the winter or offer to make him Thanksgiving dinner or offer to, um, you know, if you have woodworking skills, maybe you could make him a couple, a cutting board or... You know some useful tool that he needs around the house or maybe he is outside he's an outside worker guy and he likes make him you know five pair of socks or something like that I mean you know those are all things that you can use to trade with people having skills like that those old-fashioned skills boy they never go out of style everybody always needs that kind of stuff you know you um, like for instance you know my mother used to be um, she would sew and she my brother used to be in the military and she would sew his patches on his uniforms um if he hadn't had her well who would he have gone he would have had to hire an all somebody to do alterations but there you go you could do alterations for people if you do arts and crafts you could make cards for people like uh if people even give away birthday cards or anniversary cards or things like that um, or you could learn lettering and do invitations for people, wedding invitations, something like that. Um, you know, 50th anniversary, there's all kinds of parties that people send invitations for. And if you do um, something like that, those old fashioned skills, those really do come in handy. Um, you know, I just as a for instance, I wanted to learn how to knit because I want to make socks. I don't really want to make anything else. I just want to make socks. Well, I've tried it. I've really been trying for a year to make socks, and I just don't like the two needle thing. I can crochet, but I am not. I, I don't like to knit because you have more than one needle, and I don't like that. It's uncomfortable for me. So, I had a friend that bought me this knitting loom, and you know what? It works, and I love it. I am in the process of making a sock. So see, I mean. And, and and so I guess my point on that is if you try it and it doesn't work, you know, try there, try another alternative, you know, like this loom thing was a great alternative for me. Um, I super duper want to make my own socks. That was a real motivator for me. And, you know, I really, I didn't even know about those looms, but somebody who, who did do knitting knew about that and got me that. And I love it. It works fantastic. So, um, anyway, guys, I, um, that's my frugal tip of the day. Learn skills. Um, it, it's interesting. You never know where your um, skills will take you, and it's always worth a try. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, I hope, like, share, and subscribe, please, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.